Hello everyone, Storm, and welcome to uh, Minecraft, uh, or should I say Cave Game, uh, but uh, this is one of the very first versions of Minecraft, not the first one you can get, one of the very first, and I have decided that since uh, Mojang has made uh, almost all the versions available through the launcher, that I would go through all of them and, sh like, uh, do a development cycle thing, series type thing, so yeah, that didn't make any sense. Uh, yay! But this, uh, version is, uh, RD160052, uh, and yeah, I've got a little uh, notepad here, which I'm going to read out some notes from. I've collected from the Minecraft wiki, uh, and I'm going to put lots of links in the description for you to uh, do some research yourself. Uh, so yeah, today is 4th of January uh, 2014, uh, and yeah, so it's been five years almost since Minecraft development started in 2009 uh, on May the 10th. So this version is like probably from May the 14th or so, I'd say. Probably. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the, the, there's a pre-classic uh, development of Minecraft which is six days basically from May the 10th to May the 16th in 2009 and it was first called Cave Game although there was another game Notch was working on called Ruby Dung and the textures of this version are from that game uh, I did want to show an earlier version but it would have been too short and there wasn't enough features in it so I decided to go with this one and the RD in RD160052, which is the version number, uh, stands for Ruby Dung, and uh, the game is still referred to as Ruby Dung in the uh, code itself. Uh, so, yeah, I'll link to a wiki page for Ruby Dung as well, so you can read about it. It's not much on it uh, though, so whatever. Uh, on May the 14th, it was renamed to Minecraft Order of the Stone, but not just thought it was too long, so later that day, it was renamed to Minecraft, so on my birthday, May the 14th. Uh, and also, he added the random world generator, so it wasn't just a flat uh, surface with a grass, and then cobble underneath. And... He added some blocks, uh, dirt, wood, stone. Uh, so the entire block was this grass block, and the entire block was the cobble block. And those were the two blocks, a single layer of, dirt, of grass, and then lots of layers of cobblestone. So he added stone, dirt, and wood, and also saplings, but I couldn't find those. I don't think he added them. They aren't in this version, so... Yeah, so these these uh, characters that you can spawn in with G, so you can spawn in as many as you want. They're a bit like laggy though. I don't know why. Uh, the animation's supposed to be a bit smoother, I think. But yeah, whatever. Uh, also, you can respawn by pressing R, and you can select between four blocks using one, two, three, and four. So first block is stone, which you place down by left-clicking instead of right-clicking. Right-clicking is to destroy the blocks, so, and left-click to place them. So that's stone. Uh, it's the same as it is today. Then there's dirt, which you can see. Uh, put some down as well. A bit weird trying to remember to use the other mouse button. Then there's cobble. So this is from Ruby Dung the good old cobble texture uh, 
seems to be a bit different though, I don't know. And then there's the wooden planks that we aren't familiar today because it's different to that. Uh, although it's quite similar but not the same. So, you know, there was something you could build with. Later on he had a notch added uh, water lava, although that was in classic so I won't do that. I'll do another video on classic. Uh, and then another video on in-dev, inf-dev, survival test, and then several videos on alpha, several videos on beta, and several videos on the official release. So, there's that. Uh, and I think I'm going to show you at the end of the video how you can get these versions if you want to check them out. Uh, but, and there's no inventory screen in this version, uh, no crouching, uh, just jumping, moving around, placing blocks. Very, very simple. Uh, no menu screens, nothing whatsoever. You launch the game, you're inside, and this wasn't a public release, I don't think. So it was just not his own personal, uh, no test. He didn't want to make this public, so. Yeah, I mean, obviously this isn't an infinite world. So I'll try and walk to the edge, actually. So yeah, you can see the edge, and if I jump down, we I won't die because there's no health bar. Uh, you can see it's a large square, so it's R to respawn. Uh, and there's no cave systems in this yet. Uh, it's just very, very simple. Uh, although I think I'm actually uh, going to build a little cage for these NPCs. <laughs> Trap them in here. Uh, so, let's just do that quickly. Might as well have some fun. Uh, like that. Oops, jump on top of that. And just keep pressing G. Oh, great. <sighs> I said they would actually fall inside the little cage. Let's make it wider. Uh, da -da -da. One sec. <laughs> Just messing around. Uh, this isn't wide enough. Let's not trap ourselves. There we go, just keep pressing... Oh, they still jump. Ah, oh, there we go, got one of them. You know what? Just stand in here and keep pressing G. <laughs> so I think there's an infinite amount of these that you can spawn. Uh, let's get out of here though. Oops, there we go. So yeah, nice and buggy. Uh, well, I mean, there's nothing really buggy about this, because it's so early on in development. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and show you how to uh, play these versions now, so be right back. Okay, so I am uh, at the launcher which we're all familiar with, uh, so I'm going to show you how to get that, uh, to get the new version. So, first of all you're going to click on New Profile, uh, and rename it whatever you want, uh, just rename it, test, whatever, uh, and you're going to want, these will be unchecked like this, and you're going to want to check both of them and click Yes both times. And uh, you will be able to play with beta and alpha versions and any version before classic. Oh, you'll be able to play with classic, I think, as well. But not with in-dev or inf-dev, so they haven't made those available for, I don't know, various reasons probably. And you're going to want to scroll down all the way to the bottom. And here you can select, uh, this won't be here, the last one I've got. But these four will be here. And these are old alpha, RD uh, 160052, that's what I just showed you. And there are uh, three other versions as well. And the RD, RD stands for Ruby Dung. Then there's uh, these, uh, C0 whatever, C0. C stands for Classic. Then there's 
uh, old alpha inf, that stands for uh, inf dev probably. And then there's a, that stands for alpha. And if you go all the way up, it goes to b, which is beta, and it says old beta as well. So that's the way you can access all the versions. This is the version I just showed you. And just click on save profile and it will automatically put it in the profile and you can press play and it will download uh, pretty quickly. But it will download and you're ready to play. So that's how you can do that. If you want to change which version it is, you just click on edit profile and choose a different one. So there's that. Uh, and of course you want to be logged in to do this. You do need to have a Minecraft account. Uh, and you have to buy the game as well, obviously. Uh, so that's it uh, for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And well, I didn't really show much, but whatever. Uh, if you uh, liked it, you can go and check out my channel. And uh, there will be other videos like this, hopefully. Uh, unless you're watching this after I up just uploaded it. So I'm going to do a version every day, hopefully. Or not every day, but a couple of these videos every now and then. Several times a week, maybe. I don't know. Whatever I have time for, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.